I mean, on email structure, one thing that we agreed on that I, I don't think everyone is doing, and it's just, a, I think, a very common sale a copywriting format. I'm curious how often you use this outside of email outreach is the ADA copywriting formula. Can you oh, describe that? All the time. I use it for everything. I use it like in stories I tell in person. So what you're about to see here is, is a really, really simple outline called ADA, A-I-D-A, and it means attention, interest, desire, action. This is this has been around for a long time. It's in that movie Glengarry uh, Ross, whatever it's called. It's it's a it's a very popular formula, and it's super interesting, especially for emails, because what it does is it takes people through the natural flow of getting them interested in something or, or getting their attention first, so they read it, getting their interest, so you tell them interesting facts, interesting testimonials, interesting uses. And then you make them want to desire it themselves. You don't say, you go buy this. You have to trick them into thinking they want this. Mm -hmm. And then you have to give them an action to take. So you go click this to buy, go to Amazon to buy, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And so it kind of looks like this. This is, this is the outline I use with all my consulting clients from small to medium to large companies. It works the exact same way every single time. And the biggest fear of most people uh, is to start writing from a blank page. Like we've all sat down and you're just sitting on a blank page and you're like, what do I even, like what key do I hit first? With this, you just, I type in subject one, two, three, four, and then the purpose of the email, right? Like what is the one thing we're trying to do on this email? Okay. And then I write out attention, interest, desire, action, exactly in this format and I write stuff as a placeholder. <laughs> like this is actually what I do. Um, I have a template that I just copy from each time. And um, if you, you want me to give you an example of how this works? I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, sure. Yeah. I'll show you, I'll try to sell you I think you in the context of our, like, our, our listener situation is you're trying to promote content, how would you suggest that structure? Well, well, how about this? Can I show you, like, like that, that's kind of boring. <laughs> can I show you that's a better way? That's we're boring people. Can I, can I try to show you a better way? <laughs> I'm gonna try to sell I can, you. I can talk about the boring one. You I'm gonna sell you on one. drinking more water. How about okay. that? Okay. Yeah. So, so using the ADA formula, if I want to get Ross to drink more water, what would I do? Would I just be like, Ross, drink more water, mm. right? I, I'll, I'll keep holding this. I, Ross, drink more water. That's probably not going to work, right? Okay. So now how do I do it? Now without this, I'd have to be like, okay, how am I going to convince him? With this, I could say attention. Let me get Ross's attention. You look like a moderately fit guy. Not really, moderately, but wow. moderately. Like you look like you're trying. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd be like, Ross, <laughs> you, you, you work out, right? Yeah, I try to. You, you try moderately. To, you try to work out. You go yeah. to the gym. You're not spending all your time there, but you're trying to get the most out of the results, right? right? Okay. So now I got his attention. He, he's interested in something here. And so now, now let's him. yes, in, insulting him. Yes, like you don't look that strong. <laughs> let's fix that. So, so the interest part would be let's tell him interesting things. So I'd be like, did you know like there's a there's a pretty easy way to get pretty much thirty percent more gains on all the lifting you do? Would you be interested in that? Like you go there and you get thirty percent more results for the same amount of time you spend. That would be interesting, right? Yeah. So the way that protein is built in your body is through amino acids interacting with H2O, water. Meaning, before you work out, you need to drink a lot of water. Not during, but before. That means you have a lot of the universal solvent water that amino acids can react with to okay. create more protein to build up your muscles, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it's made. Right. Um, science, 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 that's how it's made. Now, let's make him desire it, okay? so. If you go to the gym for an hour each time and you do this consistently for a few months, by drinking one liter of water before you enter the gym, right before you enter the gym, just one liter of water, just chug it, you will get 30% more muscle gains. That's okay. It. Okay. So now your action, let's get him to take action. Next time you go to the gym, today, tomorrow, something? Maybe. I, will I'm you chug lazy one liter of water before going? <laughs> Is that that hard? Uh, you're wanting to yeah, take a drink right yeah, now, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so that's how I'd use the ADA technique to get him to drink more water. Now, what I just told you was, was total bullshit. I don't know if that's true at all. If you drink more water, <laughs> it gets you to build more muscle. I, I, made, I made that up. Rest, but rest. the point is, I use that formula and you can use it for good or evil, whichever one you want. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the ADA formula. And that's a great way to just kind of like uh, to put your thoughts down on paper and then you erase the attention, interest, desire, action. Your email is done. It's great. So that is a very common format people use for emails. Uh, they also use it for content, but it's great for emails and sales pitches. Nice. Yeah. To put it in the boring context, I got to do it for our, our viewers. We, in our, our situation where we're, we're, we're doing emails, mm -hmm. our attention is functionally from a cold pitch perspective. Mm -hmm. And I, I definitely picked this apart after I, 
I describe it is one, make them know that we actually read their blog. Uh -huh. So we put it in the context, we read X or Y and clearly customized it, not in a bullshit way, like just putting the title of it, but actual context and commentary that makes it relate to what they have as attention. Like it is rare for anyone to get a pitch that actually uh, makes sense. And also in the uh -huh. subject line, we do the same thing. We put their website name and also hopefully an attractive title about the content we're pitching. Mm -hmm. um, interest would be describing the content in a way that's compelling. Maybe it's an animation. Uh, it's a really in-depth guide that we spent 300 hours on. Or is the number one article on CNN, some, some, some right. ranking about it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, maybe it's something like that. Like we submitted it to Reddit, it's gotten a ton of views, things like that. I would love that traffic on my site. Or you could also put it in context, like go to Basumo. This performs very similar. We think this fits in the same context for this other article that did really well for you. Mm -hmm. We think it'll perform well, or uh, we think this will drive a lot of search traffic, blah, blah, blah. Um, hopefully they're desiring that. And then give them the link and obviously action if you'd like to share this or link to this, mm -hmm. close the funnel that way. And that's yep. our ADA formula, so. Yep, pretty much the exact same thing. You could apply it to anything. It's great. It is a like a universal formula. And people start picking it apart. Like, what if you add this, this, this? It's like, sure, you can. But like that is the basic skeleton formula um, all these companies uses from small freelancers to mid-sized companies to gigantic companies. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, I mean, I saw some really in-depth posts on like 400 copywriting templates or uh, formulas. I'm curious, it's like, is that just your one go-to? Are oh, those I mean, another formula? I'm in the whole copywriting world, so I'm like, I want to know all the formulas. Honestly, it's, it's <laughs> kind of like use, ADA every time. Every time. I've tried to use other formulas, but it's kind of like agitate the buyer, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like, am I really, are you really trying to agitate your the customer? You know, like, I feel like there's specific uses for some of these other formulas, but honestly, ADA over and over and over and over. It's just what comes up every time. It's what people like. It's what people understand. Okay. And, it, and it just totally works. Yeah, and it's, it's easy to remember and re reference and tell people. I think that probably helps its stickiness too. Yeah, uh, ADA, that's the one you need to know. Yeah. Forget all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice.